management of DCX system. But let's take a note of Mahindra Mahindra numbers for you. We just uh, had them flashing on the bottom of the screen. But let me get on board my colleague uh, Shristi to exactly tell us what transpired in the quarter gone by for Mahindra Mahindra. Shristi, how are the numbers on the surface? Looks like an in-line set of numbers. Well, yes, uh, inline set of numbers coming in from Mahindra and Mahindra, a bit of an outperformance coming in when it comes to the profit of the company. The company reported a net profit of over 2,000 crores, close to 2,080 crores versus our expectation of 1,875 crores. On the margin front, they reported an EBITDA margin of 12% versus our expectation of 12.2%. And other than that, even the revenue and EBITDA number is as per our expectation. What uh, the company has uh, this time done is there is an exceptional item of 247 crores as well and that is on the back of impairment provisions for the long-term investment and gain on uh, sale of certain investments but adjusting for it the profit figure is a bit uh, higher than what we were expecting but the management commentary is also quite very positive because this time around they say that their farm equipment has achieved their highest ever quarterly volume as we know the automotive segment was doing very well uh, the company says that the export for both the vehicles and tractors remain quite very strong. It is the highest ever quarterly revenue uh, for m and when we see on a standalone number basis and the management commentary on the growth outlook ahead and the demand for both the segments stands to be quite very strong. So a decent set of numbers and a marginal outperformance coming in on the bottom line for m and So much for that, Shristi, for outlining how the numbers work for Mahindra and Mahindra. But let's bring on board our uh, for the analysts who track Mahindra Mahindra really closely and we have uh, Ashwin Patel as well as Mithil Shah joining us. A very good morning Ashwin and Mithil and I hope you got a chance to uh, take a look mm -hmm. at Mahindra and Mahindra numbers. Ashwin, I'll come first to you. How are the numbers and what are your uh, views on it? I think there, it was a good set of numbers from Mahindra and Mahindra this time with both of its uh, segments mm -hmm. that is automotive as well as farm equipment segments. Both of them have done well in this particular quarter. And uh, we know that uh, the second quarter is a good uh, quarter for uh, the farm equipments with the monsoons and being there and, uh, uh, you know, tractor sales also happening well. So, uh, uh, also, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the automotive division has been doing well with uh, several launches, the Thar doing well, actually 700 doing well. And uh, the chip shortage issue also getting reduced. So the company has been able to uh, cater to the demand and the high order books that had create, had been created earlier because of chip shortage. So the company has been able to deliver on that front as well. On the margin front, I would say that 12% uh, is a good kind of a margin. We were also working in line with that kind of uh, margin. So in line numbers on that front, on the profitability, at the bottom line, I would say that the exceptional items, if you take it out, then the numbers were slightly ahead of our expectations. So on and on, I think it was a good set of uh, numbers from m and And going forward, uh, also despite the unseasonal rains that we have seen in the month of October, Q3 is going to be good. Uh, as we are seeing in the numbers, the volume numbers of the company which are coming on the first of every month. So uh, the outlook remains good and we are positive on the stock. All right. A good set of numbers. Outlook looks good and positive on the stock is the word coming in from Ashwin. Thank you so much on that note, Mithil, as well as Ashwin for joining us on the show and giving us your first cut uh, on Mahindra and Mahindra numbers. And it is a consensus view coming in, strong set of numbers coming in for Mahindra and Mahindra in the quarter gone by. If you look at as per ET now poll as well, it uh, the pattern, the margins were in line with estimates.